Ted has six dollars and ten cents. He has two dollars, seven quarters, no pennies or dimes. How many nickels does he have? Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And then of course, I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now here, we have a math word problem. Now I'm gonna go ahead and suggest to you that you always use the rule of three in dealing with any math word problem. And that is read the problem at least three times. Even if you think, oh, you read it one time, you understand what's going on. That's probably the case, but it's a good habit to always reread the problem, okay? At least three times, it forces you to think more about, the, um, about what's going on and to really understand what the question is. And the question here is how many nickels does Ted have out of this $6.10? Now, of that $6.10, he has $2 and seven quarters. So we're dealing with um, kind of, uh, we're dealing with bills. Okay, we're talking about dollar bills and we're, dealing, we're talking about coins as well. So this is basically a money um, math word problem. So it's a good idea to make sure that we understand the difference between bills and coins and their respective values. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into that first. Let's just do that quick review, and then we'll just kind of uh, take an approach and just kind of whittle this problem down. Uh, this particular problem, I think, is pretty easy once you understand the value of uh, respective um, bills and coins. And let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So here are bills and here are coins. Now, of course, this is uh, in uh, the U.S. currency. But, uh, you know, depending on what country you're in, your currency will have something probably pretty similar. So bills and coins. So a $1, okay, is $1 bill. Now these are paper, uh, you know, money that's in paper form like this. And coins, of course, are actual coins and, you know, the different sizes for those of you that just don't know about this stuff. But anyways, a dollar bill is a one paper unit. And of course, we have our U.S. presidents here, and it's $1, okay? But there's still the dollar, or there are other bills out there, like $5 bills, $10 bills, $20 bills, uh, $50 bills, $100 bills. Now, this $1, okay, is equivalent to uh, a certain amount of coins, okay? So let's talk about coins here real quick. So we'll start off with a penny, okay? A penny is one cent. Now, if we look at a dollar bill, how many pennies are in one dollar? Well, they're 100 pennies uh, to one dollar. So the value of a penny is 0 0.01. Because if we take 0 0.01 and we multiply it by 100, we'll get uh, the value of a dollar, okay, 100 pennies. All right, so that's basically uh, the way you want to think of the value of coins is you need to think of them in terms of decimal amounts. So let's talk about um, a nickel, which is of course five cents. Now, some of you may not know this because you might be watching this video in a different country, but we're just gonna quickly review the value of uh, coins in, uh, again, US currency. So a penny is 0 0.01, a nickel is 0 0.05, a 10 cents is a dime, okay, which is gonna be 0 0.10, so a nickel is 0 0.05, a penny is 0 0.01, and then lastly, we have a quarter, which is 0.25. So there's going to be four quarters to a dollars or, or 10 dimes to one dollar, excuse me, four quarters to one dollar, uh, 10 dimes to um, one dollar. And then, of course, we could just have our various equivalency with nickels and pennies, et cetera, et cetera. So I think most of you out there are pretty familiar with this, hopefully. And if you're not, you know, uh, hopefully this quick review, um, you know, will make this problem understandable. Okay, so now that we have a quick sense of the value of bills and coins, then we can kind of take a look at this problem and say, all right, well, if Ted has $6.10 and he has $2, well, we can just remove those dollars from this amount. 
because what we're looking for is nickels. So let's subtract away the bills away from $6.10. Once we've done that, then we can easily uh, take away the value of those quarters. And then whatever's left, okay, has to be the total value of the nickels. And then we kind of figure it out from there. So let's go ahead and take this one step at a time. Okay, so Ted has $6.10 total. So we know that he has $2, so we can just simply subtract away those $2 from his $6.10, and that leaves us with $4.10. Now, right here, he doesn't have any pennies or dimes, so the only thing that this $4.10 is made up of is quarters and nickels. But we do know how many quarters Ted has, and the problem indicated that Ted has seven quarters, all right? So seven quarters. So let's take away the value of those quarters. All right, let's go to do that right now. So seven quarters is worth how much? Well, it's gonna be seven times the value of one quarter. And again, we're gonna use decimal here. So that's gonna be 0.25. So seven times 0.25. And, you know, go ahead and use your calculator. No need to, you know, make this any more difficult than it already is. But seven times two, uh, 0.25 is 1.75, but that is $1.75. So now we could take that $1.75 and subtract it away from the $4.10, and what is left is $2.35. Okay, so that is what remains, and there is no pennies and there is no dimes, so this must be the total value of the nickels. So the question is, how many nickels does Ted have? Well, this is not going to be that difficult. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and uh, finish this problem up by taking the next step, which of course is uh, figuring out, of course, how many nickels we have, how many nickels is worth $2.35. But really what I was going to ask you is, can you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel before we finish up this interesting money math word problem? Now, I wouldn't interrupt this lovely math video if it wasn't that important, not only to me, but to other people out there that could use my support. Uh, so basically, my channel is all about uh, really getting people to be more interested in mathematics. If they're like maybe bored, I try to come up with interesting math problems. And, uh, you know, if even if you're not a student, a math student, if you just like doing math as a hobby, you know, I try to come up and, you know, do ver a variety of different type of math problems. But particularly, I'm trying to reach people that need assistance in mathematics. There's a big, big problem out there, unfortunately, and not uh, not enough students are getting the math instruction they need to be successful in math. And the only way I can reach those students to help them is by getting your support. So every time you subscribe, it really does push out my content on YouTube so I can connect with those people. And if you're gonna do that, go ahead and hit that notification bell as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this problem up. And again, now that we kind of whittled this down and just said, okay, well, we took away the dollar amount from how much Ted has, and then we figured out how much the quarters are worth. We took away that, and we know that Ted doesn't have any pennies or dimes, so uh, all that remains is the nickels. So we have to figure out how many nickels is $2.35. Well, we know that the value of one nickel, okay, five cents, again, is 0 0.05. So this is the monetary value. So all we need to do is to take this amount and divide it by this amount and we'll get the number of nickels. So this is a simple division problem. So $2.35 divided by 0 0.05. Again, let's use our calculator, make our life easy. And the answer is going to be 47. But of course, that uh, is equivalent to 47 nickels. Okay, so this is how we handle this simple money problem. And, uh, you know, a lot of you out there might be saying, well, this is so easy. Well, you know, it's easy for you because, you know, someone taught you this stuff way back in the good old days. But other people are maybe, you know, reviewing or learning basic math for the first time. And if you think about this, you know, um, for those of you that are in North America or used to working with U.S. currency, you're familiar with, you know, dollars and, you know, $5 bills and uh, dimes and pennies and quarters, but what happens if you go to another country and you're dealing with a different currency? You see, basically, you have the same problem, but of course, we're dealing with, you know, different names, different currency, etc., etc. But anyways, uh, hopefully, this was an entertaining little video, and if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And by the way, if you um, want more problems like this, I have a ton of these 
uh, type of math, uh, money math word problems on my YouTube channel. Also, if you need assistance with basic mathematics in terms of just, um, you know, basic decimals and working with fractions of percent and, you know, kind of these more um, elementary type of concepts, check out my Math Foundations mini course. It's a kind of a review of arithmetic and basic mathematics. It's a self-paced course. You'll find a link to it in the description below. But uh, anyways, with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.